Well, that is uh, the upcoming game uh, between Busha Busters and Khwer Warriors. Uh, we'll be witnessing one more encounter, the final game of the day, the match number 20th. Sofian Mahmood from Busher Busters will give it a flip. And there's a call. It's number. All right, so the news we have from the center is that Busher Busters, they have won the toss and they have decided to ball first. Let's have a quick look at the Kuwait Warriors side. Arslan Bashir, Muzaffar Shiralkar, Danish Mohammed, Zishan Siddiqui, Sayyid Amir Kaleem, Aditya Parag, Sean Nawak, Osama Ahmed, Adil Ahmed Abbas, Mohammed Arafat Islam and Asim Kamal. That's the 11 for Kuwait Warriors. And to talk about the Bushair Busters, I have Shoaib, uh, <laughs> Shoaib Ahmed with me. I'm so sorry, Shoaib. No problem at all, Neil. We know it's a long day. But for Bushair Busters, it's a fresh start. And it's the last game of the evening. They are playing 11 is Hamad Mirza, Fayaz Bhatt, Akil Khan, Shubo Pal comes into the side. Bilal Mohammed, Asif Khan, Hamad Ifraq, Abdul Rauf, Sufyan Mahmood, the skipper, Adil Shafiq, and Kanishka Madhuwanta. The two umpires walk out in the middle. It's going to be between the Kuwait Warriors and Bushair Busters. The Warriors stepping out as they've been asked to bat first. Amir Kaleem, he is a mainstay. He is one of those guys who you can heavily rely, be it with your bat, be it with the ball. As far as their standings in the table are concerned, Kuwait Warriors, second last on the table. They would want to move away from there. First ball, pull toss. We'll get a single and the scoring will start. Officially played, will go beyond for a max. Never looked very confident playing that shot, but then, well, the result says it all. What Ten runs. Where does Amir Kaleem go? He goes towards the square leg. There's a fielder there. We'll have to do really well. Not enough. Boundaries for Amir Kaleem and four runs will be added to the total of Kuwer Warriors. I think it's been a job well done so far. Using his feet, playing it inside out, over the extra cover. This is good batting from Zishan Siddiqui. Every ball of the last over has been hit, either for a six or for a four. Marginally close within your heart, you know that it's not there. Ah. It's edged and taken. Thank you so much, Ma Salama. Zishan Siddiqui is gone. Yeah, Bilal strikes in the very first over. In fact... Uh, Slashed and given. Simple catch. Soft dismissal. Two and two for Bilal. Osama Ahmed. Kuwait Warriors lost two wickets in quick succession. Here we go. Ball number five of this over. He's played it better. Slightly better. Let me correct that. He's got a maximum. There was a fielder there. If there was slight misconnection there, it would have been a simple catch. But no, he'll get a six. Arslan Bashir, Sayyid Amir Kaleem. Yeah, if he traps him on the pads, then there's a chance. Goes down, sweeps beautifully for a boundary. Four runs there for Sayyid Amir Kaleem and Kuwait Warriors. Two for seven. He'll be looking for more. He's gone aerial. Arslan Bashir and goes out of his hand. Cannot believe it. This is unbelievable. Should have been taken. Was a regulation catch at the boundary line. You don't drop these. Now taken. Didn't really cost him too much. And that was a more difficult catch as compared to the previous one. And these either stick or they don't. But for now, Bilal, another number 45. Bowling. Ah, oh, streaky there, streaky, wanted to play it someplace else, went someplace else, doesn't matter. Gone aerial, gone big, and gone into the outer space, maximum for the Bushir Busters. True. This has been put away. Oh, well, that's gone sailing over for a maximum. 
the 200, almost 200 strike rate. This time outside off, he cut it away nicely. That will hit the fence. One more four. Brilliant batting from uh, Sayyid Amir Kaleem. His fabulous job. Yay! Steps out. Muzaffar Shuralkar oh. has to take a walk out. That is what I've been talking about. He's absolutely monster against the right-handers. True. Big heave on the own side. Oh, Miss Fielding will get four runs to Khoer Warriors. That's supposed to be stopped. Yeah, just with the experience, sometimes you see your fielders running, you know that there is a healthy chances of missing out there. But this one up in the air. That will sail flat six. Beautiful. Yeah, if you can see, there is a bit of an age. Put away, muscled it, cracked it. Nothing can be done by the fielder. That was muscled, sheer power from the bottom hand. He punched it down nicely. Oh, that goes another biggie. That goes, has he got all of it? Yes, he does. That's two back-to-back -back sixes. Well, Sean Nowak, he looked rusty at the start of the tournament. He has scored boundaries on four balls. Take one more. Keep it straight. And that's way, way up into the stands. And that's in the pavilion. That was a lawful toss. Just clearing the outfield. Oh, that will hit the rope. Just four runs. Good shot there, but that ball was there to be hit. I don't. I doubt highly he'll get four boundary. Well, that's up and over one more time. One more boundary. One bounce into the fence. This is hit on the onside third again. Well, I need to be quiet. I think. Absolutely, three boundaries in the over, and uh, with this, the half century comes up for Sayyid Amir Kaleem. Look at this celebration. This gentleman deserves it. The 30 number jersey, Sayyid Amir Kaleem, a half century of 25 balls with a strike rate of 200. And at the close of nine overs mark, Khuber Warriors, 115 for the loss of four wickets. They would get hit for that many. Yay! Oh, castle is disturbed, destroyed, and that's a wicket. Ring of field is on the offside as well. There's a sweeper cover. There's a fielder at long off. Where is he going? Oh, he attempts a lap sweep. Straight into the hands of the fielder. Sofyan Mahmood. He gets his counterpart. Sayyid Amir Kaleem. After playing a sensational lock. And that is a beautiful gesture from Sofyan Mahmood. The target would have been 135. But he only bowled an over of three runs with the last delivery to come. And once again, change of pace. Drill down the ground. Straight in the hands of the fielder. They're running for everything. They made sure they crossed for two runs. This is good running between the wickets and a very good over from Sofian Mahmood considering only five runs. And picked up two wickets. That was uh, the key wickets. But uh, we need to see the batting card here. Zishan Siddiqui up front with a two st 200 strike rate. Bagged 14 runs. But one man has uh, put up and stood tall was uh, the captain of Khover Warriors. It was Amir Kaleem. And then cameo role from Sean just gets them what they wanted 120 runs is uh, I'm, I'm thinking is what the captain was looking at a lot of great bowling effort from the Boucher Busters courtesy some brilliant batting and talk, talk about Bilal Mohammed picking up two uh, three wickets conceding 25 runs in his two overs with the captain Sofian Mahmood a standout bowler among all the destruction he bowled two overs Considered only 11 runs and picked up two wickets. And all in all, six extras, 120 on the board for uh, when Busher Busters will come out to bat. The two openers, they need to score, they need to score big, and they need to go right from the board. Go 12.10 is the required run rate. Hey. Oh. 
First ball, Adil Shafiq inside edge of the bat and it has hit him in the groin area. Flight and delivery using his speed. Adil Shafiq has played that in the air. Just very close to the field and he's taken it. Well done, Osama. What a catch that was. For a moment, I thought it was going to land right in the center of the, those two fielders. Operating in the power play. Goes straight down the ground. This is gone for six. Over the head of the fielder and the bowler. Yes, nice clean it from Abdul Rauf. I feel that if... That is a brilliant hit. Shuffled across. Heaved it on the onside. Six number two for the over. Sayed Amir trying to go a little defensive on that occasion. Bowling it way outside off. He just needs to flight the ball a lot more. I think he's bowling a lot quicker. It's been played in the cap. And the ball on this grass is going to just... Uh, Crossed the boundary ropes in no time. No chance for the fielder. No point getting upset with them. That is where you are honed. Academy cricket. That is where you are honed for the real game. Oh, this has been flicked straight to the fielder. Another catch for Usama. Yes, he was not effective with the bat. But look at him in the field. He's a live wire. On the back foot, pulled away on the onside. That is a big six from Hamad Mirza. And I think Hamad should go and speak up to him about this. Because he's hitting them nice and clean. That's another biggie. That's gone into the stands. And Hamad Mirza, well, he is taking the fight on to Kuwer Warriors. Here goes another one. This is not good bowling from Sean Novak. This one's all gone even further. And back-to-back -back sixes for Hamad Mirza. That's gone high up in the air. Chance for the fielder. Comes underneath that one. That's a very good catch. Not easy. Taking the catches under the lights. Very experienced campaigner. Hold him. We're talking about experience, but the pressure got better of him. Clean bold. Automatically turn out to be the hero for your side. Well, this one was shot, picked on the onside. That would go towards the hurts. Big hit on the onside. Shubu gets starred with a bang. First ball off the mark with a maximum. And so far, this has gone great for Asim. Oh, catch it is the call. Catch it is the cry. Back to the bowler. He takes the simple catch. And it's two wickets. Double strike for Asim Kamal in and over. He's trying everything out of textbook. Nothing is working. Right, he's gone up. Who's going to take it? Is there someone? Yes, there is. Wickets are tumbling like a pack of cards. Busher busters are getting busted. Excited. This time he came down the track, hits it. Well, it seems uh, this man has a glue in his hand. One good ball. This one has gone big. Fielder coming underneath. And he will take it. Young boy. Or hits it on the onside. Has he got all of it? Yes, he does. Umpire raises his both arms and calls it six. This is the line, but not the length. That has been deposited. What a great six from Fayaz, but he clearly would be looking for the gift hamper from Udamna. One last over to go. Yeah! Ball him. Akil can't go on. Asim Kamal, he can't do anything wrong today. Be it taking catches, be it taking wickets. Win surely out of equation. And given. Given. Asim Kamal picks up his fourth. A 4-4 four -four for Asim Kamal. And Bosher Busters all out. A very poor outing for them. 
as far as the ball is concerned that didn't go their way when they came out with the bat definitely not all out for the first time we have seen in this season that a team has gone all out not very easy to have such a big win margin but they've done that handshakes all over but uh, kuwait warriors i tell you will be celebrating within their hearts that what what a fantastic win they've got today top scorer there was hamad but apart from there some and bits and pieces you you actually got some support asif 10 rof 17 15 for fayaz but they needed at least one person to stick around and play that long haul no one did mohammad arafat is a gone for economy of uh, 11 but uh, pick off the bowler was asim kamal with his four for he picked up four wickets and given only 10 runs in 1.3 clearly a shared dominance performance this is from asim kamal shawn picked up two danish one and said amr kaleem two you're right second win there we'll come to the points table in a bit but as far as the match summary is concerned kuwait warriors batting first 120 they scored sayed amir kaleem scoring 50 of 26 shawn noah came in company 30 of 12 came in at a very good pace as far as bilal is concerned he picked up three wickets for uh, the busters when busters came into bat literally no one passed the 20 mark and asim picking up four wickets to make life miserable for the busters kuwait warriors winning by 29 runs a very healthy winning margin